In today's video, we are going pumpkin picking and I am also hosting a harvest and cook with me collaboration. So make sure to check out the playlist down below. I am so happy to share with the world my first grandbaby, my little sweet pea. This is her first time going pumpkin picking and I cannot wait to share her with you all. Stay tuned. <music> Welcome back to my channel and here's my little sweet pea. Oh my goodness. My heart is full. This little girl is just my little treasure. I love her so much. Um, this is the first time um, that she is pumpkin picking and the first time on the farm. The first time just, it is just a, a, such an amazing feeling to be a grandma. And so I wanted her, to, I wanted to introduce her to you all. So I hope you enjoyed this video um, and I'm going to share with you a recipe um, from farm to table um, with the uh, delicious veggies that I was able to pick up from our local farm. So here are all my items. I was able to get some um, squash, zucchini, uh, corn, and the white uh, pumpkins. Uh, they supposed to taste like mashed potatoes. So I decided to pick up the winter squash and hopefully um, it will turn out good. Let's see how it goes. So now that the winter squash is all cleaned, I'm going to go ahead and drizzle some avocado oil and I'm going to bake it in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes until the squash is nice and tender. While that is baking, I am going to go ahead and prepare my ribs. I'm going to serve this up with some ribs um, and so I'm going to season them. I'm going to use some um, this organic herb. Um, seasoning that I got a Casco is no salt. I'm also using Weaver's Kick and Chicken because I just love it. Some sazonador total, a little bit of um, sazon, and I'm drizzling just a little bit of olive oil and some lemon juice. And then I'm gonna toss this up, and I'm also going to bake this in the oven at 425 for about 30 to 35 minutes. So my squash is ready. Um, and it's really tender, so I am going to go ahead and I am going to spoon out the inside of it and put it in a separate bowl so that I can go ahead and prepare them for my meal.
So I'm going to go ahead and prepare them um, like I would prepare some mashed potatoes. So I am adding some sour cream and a little bit of heavy whipping cream. I'm going to go ahead and just mash that and mix that all together. Um, my opinion is that it doesn't taste like mashed potatoes. It tastes more like sweet potato. <laughs> Um, but it's still delicious. It's uh, rich, creamy, soft, and it has a little bit of uh, sweetness to it. Um, so I enjoyed it very much. Look at how delicious this looks. It looks like mashed potatoes though. My ribs are done and I'm gonna go ahead and use this sugar-free uh, barbecue sauce. I really do like this barbecue sauce. It's one of the best ones that I found uh, that is sugar-free. I'm gonna just add some in, toss them up, put them back in the oven, and then um, I'm gonna serve up my plate. And once I finish tossing these ribs, I'm ready to serve up my plate. Don't forget to check out the rest of the playlist. I have a few friends who are sharing their recipes. And that's all. Until the next video, guys. Bye.